This video will go from this to this. There is water in the bathroom. Okay, so in a previous video, I set up a Yolink water sensor system due to some, uh, well, water issues we've had here at the house, you know, from toddlers. So I wanted to show you how to set up a routine on uh, creating a warning for when one of these does go off. Now, of course, when it goes off, it can send you an email, a text, and a warning to the app. So you're pretty well covered. However, I wanted it to actually show up on my uh, TV, my Fire TV Cube. So when we're watching videos, television, whatever you want to call it, if something happens, I'll be notified. Okay, so with the with everything already set up, the app on your phone, first thing you want to do is install a skill. I've already got one installed here, but I'm going to show you how to do that anyway. Let me turn on the screen recording here. Okay, so to to enable the Alexa skill for the, this product or other products, open up Alexa. Oh, she heard me. Then you go to skills and games, select that. And now we're going to search for the specific skill that we want to install. Go link. And there it is right there. I'm curious about the poor rating here. It worked okay for me. It was pretty easy to set up. I'm not sure why that happened unless maybe somebody's trying to set up that for uh, devices that are not. Is that Yo Link or U Link? I don't know. I'll go with Yo. So basically what you do is right here, it would say enable skill. Press that. You know, let's just do it. Disable it. All right, so we'll hit enable to use. And it's going to ask to talk to the app. Hit allow. And now it's linked. Next. And then you'll get notifications showing that it has found the devices, looking for devices, found the devices etc. And this may take a minute or so for, for this to occur. Now the first time I did this, I don't think, I think this hung up and never did actually show the next screen. I think I exited out of it, came back in and they were there. Which I may have to do here. I'm going to try to wait it out and see. There we go. It says it couldn't find a new device to connect because I've already connected devices. On yours it will show all your sensors on here. So I'll just hit next. And here you can see the devices that I've already connected. And again, this is in the previous video where I show how to set this whole system up. This, is, I, this video is strictly for Alexa. Cancel. <laughs> Probably should turn that off. Okay, so yes, my device is connected. Device is set up and ready, done. So the next part of the process is to create a routine, right? And for what I did is I created a routine that would give me an audible alert and then also an audible alert as in like a, an attention uh, buzzer or whatever, an attention tone. And then also give me a verbal alert as to which sensor it was that uh, we'll see an, an issue. Okay, so what we'll do next is you have to go into routines, right? And create a new routine. So we'll hit plus here. So when, just add an event, right? Press plus. And so you can choose between voice, you know, it's like if you say that specific name, it'll pop up and ask you what you want to do. That's not what we want. We want an alarm or alert. So I'm going to go into Smart Home. And here's my water sensors right here. So I'll just go ahead and create a new one. So by default, it chooses Close. Close is the alarm condition, okay? Open is the normal 
condition. So I want it on close. So we'll hit next. So when that sensor closes, Alexa will, so we go into here, cancel. All right, so when the toilet closes, this name will, will add an action. And so what I did is I created a uh, device tone first. And that is under sounds, select sound. And you got bells, buzzers, animals, crowds, whatever. I went with bells, buzzer. And I thought a buzzer was probably most important, or most appropriate rather. Hit save. And this is the devices that it will respond from. So I'm going to put that. That shouldn't have jumped out. I don't know why it jumped out like that. So I'm going to go back to routines. I'm not sure why it jumped off of that. Well, that kind of stinkers. Let's try this again then. Okay, so delete all that other stuff. Now then, new routine, add an event. So I'm going to go into Smart Home. Choose one of my devices here. Now close is an error alert and open is its normal position. So we do want it on close. Hit next. So when toilet closes, an action will occur. The action will be create. Do, 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 do. Sound. Now I'm going to go with bells and buzzers. You can choose whatever you like. Put a buzzer in here. Okay, before you hit save, we're going to add another action. And then here on elect, on what this person says, <laughs> I'm going to do customized. And put in here your main, whoa, I can't type, main bathroom. has a water leak. Okay, now I'll hit next. And this is going to verify what that will say. Next. Now you choose the devices to hear it from. Okay, so it shows all your Amazon devices that are... So I want the top the TV cube I thought I could select more than one let me try this Fire TV. that's odd okay so apparently you have to create yeah okay so you have to create one for each device a routine for each device so I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my main one here which is a TV cube Okay, so now that I hit save. So now when that sensor goes off, <laughs> I'll have the options of whatever I set up in here, which could be email, app alert, text, and then the addition of an Alexa cancel notification to pop up on in my case the fire tv cube i don't understand why you can't have it add multiple units but that's that's an amazon thing so anyway there we go now once that thing gets wet it'll pop up give me the buzzer warning and then tell me that there's an issue so that'll alert me in case my phone's not close by so hope you find this helpful thank you for watching there is water in the bathroom. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please select like down there and subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like it, well, subscribe to the channel. Maybe you like the next one. Thank you for watching.